Are you the early bird that gets the worm? Are you the second mouse that gets the cheese? Think about that. Today is a day of questions. Here's my question for you. Are you thunder without lightning? <laughs> Are you all bark and no bite? Are you noise without a signal? I teach my clients all the time, and I've probably mentioned on this vlog a few times that to go from where you are to where you want to be requires a better question. So when you ask yourself better questions, you actually find better answers. And then when you act on those better answers, you get better results. So for example, a typical question people have for me is, they ask like, how do I quit my job? Or, how do I start a business? I mean, that's a great starting point, but a better question is, why do I want to do I want to quit my job? I know. And then why do I want to start my own business? Because guys, it's probably more work to start a business than it is just to accept a check every two weeks for showing up and putting your time in. You know what I'm saying? It's like terrible analogy, but if you're a lion at the zoo, they feed you every day for being there. If you're a lion in the wild, it's feast or famine. You hunt for your food. That's really the difference between being a caged worker and a worker out in the field, like completely different things. And one's not better than the other, like you choose your lifestyle. The other thing is, why not both? You can have a side hustle, you can do whatever you want. So a better question is, not just why do I wanna do it, because then you start thinking of the problems that are happening and why you wanna like change that. You should be thinking of the result you want. So when someone says I want to quit and I want to have my own business, they're usually saying I want more time, but I also want money so I can do the things that I want. Which means if that requires you starting your own business, you better start a lifestyle business that gives you that freedom. Otherwise, you're going to be more caged as an entrepreneur slaving to earn your living every day than you would just accepting your paycheck every two weeks. So you got to ask like, how can I have time and money? simultaneously so you can create that type of business. So you always wanna be asking the real question, which is how do I get to that spot? How do I have that? Why? Get out of the details, go like 50,000 foot level and then come down and you can do that more readily. Sorry, I'm out of breath <laughs> hiking that freaking rainforest mountain and slippery mud, whatever. But what you wanna do is um, you get to a point where, where you actually choose where you want to live, what you want to do, how much time you have, and you, you pick projects you want to do based on your passions, profits, and positioning, three Ps, to help you live the life that you want to have. You can work 24 seven if you want or not. It's always a choice. Just ask yourself what you want, why you want it, and then find a mentor to help you get through the details so you can jump through all those hoops a lot faster than just trying to like figure your way, your way through the forest. So I'm in a forest, obviously. If you walk through a forest with a forest ranger who's like been there for months, years, a lifetime, they'll show you where the animals live. They'll show you animals, you know, patterns and behavior. They'll show you where it's safe, where it's not safe. They know where the fresh water is. They know where to sleep to stay dry because they've been there, done that. So when you're looking to start your own business, it, it behooves you. It would be important to find someone who's done that in that niche as closely as possible. Also someone who's supportive and not like a naysayer, although haters gonna hate, yeah, but they can also drive you um, towards your goal rather than away if you're willing to put in the work. But if you find a mentor who can walk through the forest with you and say, that's where you want to go, that's where you go, that's what you do, you'll hit those goals a lot faster and sooner 
than you would trying to make it up on your own. Like, I'll say it again, like, from other <laughs> vlogs, I know nothing. Now, I know a lot, but every time I learn something new, I realize how little I know. And so I look for experts in their field to help me with the things that I don't know so that either I can hire it out to them or they can teach me in a win-win situation uh, where it benefits them. I'm not just like a freaking vampire sucking their their uh, creative blood out of them uh, like so many people do it wrongly trying to find a mentor. Anyways, side note, hello. Um, I look for ways to add value to people they teach me and then I can either do it or I find people to do it for me and we collaborate. You don't have to do anything on your own, nor should you. You should find people where they're at doing the things that are good and orchestrate, organize the situation so that you can create what you want to create faster, better, possibly cheaper, but definitely more effectively. So they told exactly. Cardin that he can't do archery unless he puts his hair in a ponytail. Turn your head. Turn your head. <laughs> Actually looks amazing. <laughs> One time in Brazil, I was eating some soup and it had a, a chicken foot in it or claw and I fully put that thing in my mouth. It was like putting a baby's hand in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I just had to tell you. <laughs> but I don't eat baby's hands, <laughs> just to be clear. And uh, never eat a chicken's claw foot thing if it has talons. Right, Napoleon? Do the chickens have large talons? Do they have what? Large talons. I don't understand the words you just said. Why did the chicken cross the road? To follow Uncle Richie. <laughs> Literally, this chicken crossed the road to follow me. Well, probably to get food, but I don't have any food. Mmm, the banyan trees over there. That's true. <laughs> this chicken's following me everywhere I go. Watch. I've been chilling in this rainforest for 11 hours now. <laughs> and I just woke up from a power nap, sort of on accident, sort of on purpose. <laughs> but the real question is, why is it called a power nap and not a napkin? Think about that one. Seven a.m. back up here at camp to hang out with Cardin and the boys. It's raining on me. place is so awesome, so beautiful. The crazy thing is some of these kids have flown in from all over the country to be here and it's just off the street, man.
Dad, do you want what I need? A Choco Taco? They have a knife sharpener. What? Harden said that his back hurt because the ground was so, like, whatever. So look what we decided to do. Yes, <laughs> boogie board bed pad. <laughs> Later, bro. Go now. Whoa! That was, that was, that's, that's four now. I have 40 points. Yeah, baby. That was first try for the camera. <laughs> Back in the dark, so dark. This thing is huge. Look at this. 